All right, let's check out these top picks now that our friends here have brought with them. Nina, you have uh, an interesting uh, IPO index fund, right? Yes, it's First Trust IPO index fund. The ticker is FBX. Now, IPO market has been very hot this year. Uh, it's, uh, it has delivered its best performance in six years, and it is expected to be continue it's, uh, to be hot with Twitter's IPO coming up. And some other hotly anticipated IPOs are Chrysler and Hilton Holdings. And uh, China's largest e-commerce company, Alibaba, is also said to be planning an IPO in the US. Mm. So market will continue to do well. But not all IPOs are successful. Some do very well and some just fail. So this is a low risk and convenient way of accessing the IPO market. Uh, it holds stocks of 100 largest and most liquid, typically the best performing IPOs. And it selects, um, it starts uh, holding stocks after they uh, trade for at least a few days, and it can hold stocks for at least 1,000 days um, after the IPO's launch. Uh, popular names like Facebook, GM, Tesla Motors, they are among the top holdings as of now charges an expense ratio of 60 basis points. It has been consistently and significantly outperforming the broader market over the last five years. Did that drop in uh, Tesla stock recently because of that car fire uh, have any impact on this fund? Uh, Tesla is up again. I think it is 186 today. <laughs> okay, as we talk here. Yeah. Okay. Nick, talk to us about uh, what you find interesting in Pinnacle Foods. Yeah, well, basically why I chose this one is because with all this um, uncertainty in Washington, if you're looking for something that can give you some stability, this might be it. I thought it was unusual for a, a food company to be a Zaxx one and see its earnings estimates uh, being revised higher. Right. You know, this is a company that's you know got very popular brands that we all see, like you know Duncan Hines, Log Cabin, uh, Van Camp, and I mean it's a pretty long list of things. It's got a 2.7 percent dividend yield in it. Um, it. It basically trades at a discount to its 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 peers. I mean mm -hmm. the peg ratio is about 1.2 and. Its peer group is about 1.9, and it's corrected uh, the last uh, couple of weeks, and it looks like it's kind of coming into support somewhere around this 25 area if you look at a chart. So for those reasons, I thought, you know, this is one you might want to take a look at here as you're, you're uncertain about what's happening in Washington. All right, Charles, you think another one that they might want to take a look at that's is right. uh, this oil and gas MLP. That's right. It's uh, Mark West uh, Energy Partners. I, uh, I have been a long uh, fan of, uh, of this natural gas, natural gas liquids gathering, processing, fractionation partnership. Uh, about $10 billion in market cap has been around, I believe, since 2001. Uh, pays a dividend currently yielding close to 5%. Uh, the reason I like it, uh, they have assets all over the country, but the reason I like it is their very strong position in the Marcellus and Utica shale. Uh, they were the first mover in that and uh, has the largest uh, the infrastructure uh, for, the, uh, for, the, for the Marcellus shale, which is the biggest upcoming uh, shale play in the country. Uh, just to give you a sense of uh, how big the growth opportunity for the partnership is, they have about two and a half billion uh, cubic feet per day in uh, processing capacity, about 80,000 barrels a day in fractionation. Uh, by the end of next year or, or the middle of the following year, uh, processing capacity will be doubled, fractionation capacity will be tripled, uh, they have been raising their distributions at close to 6, 6.5% over the last five years. The outlook for the following five years is in double digits. Uh, so an overall uh, extremely standout growth performer uh, with a very decent risk profile uh, in the MLP space. And if you're concerned about what's happening in Washington, uh, it's, it's good to hold on to, uh, to tangible assets, and nothing's more tangible than a pipeline. <laughs> <laughs> if you can carry it. If yeah. you can carry it. Right. Nobody can carry it. It stays right there. <laughs> Don't forget to check out other stock picks and stock picking strategies on our website, zax.com. If you're not there already watching this video, check back often because they change often. With everyone here, I'm Terry Ruffalo.